We've just found the wild dogs. This is the second time in two days and we're about to put the buggy up, but I want to give you a rundown on how the whole thing works. First of all, this is a water housing. Ideal for in the ocean. We take a 5D Mark III, we set it up at 16mm on the 16 to 35 lens, autofocus. It is plugged in to the cable on the side here, which allows me to release the shutter remotely. It slides in here, as such, sticks out the front. Then the lens port goes on to protect it mainly against lions who tend to love it and uh, if an elephant treads on it this will give it a fair amount of protection. Obviously it's used to being underwater at great depth so it's not going to buckle easily. On the back we put the cover. I don't worry about the waterproof o-ring that sits around there because it's not likely to ever go into the drink at this stage. These are then locked on. becomes pressurized and if I have a look on the back here I've set it up at f5 ISO 500 cloudy white balance it is not I beg your pardon it is the important thing here is to set it to the right memory card it has to go on the big card do not write to the SD card if you're shooting high speed it tends to fill up too quickly and then it buffers and you miss a lot of shots so it is cloudy so we're going to go to cloudy white balance today that's done. This is the guts of the buggy. There's a metal cover that sits on the bottom. Here's all the electronics. This is the battery that runs it. This cable here fits into the input socket of the water housing. It's pushed in tight. It then sits in here flat. We turn it over there is a big screw hole there and a monster screw. It goes in. Thankfully the dogs are still waiting patiently for me to finish this because I can tell you right now that as you probably realize wildlife does not wait for you. You have to wait for it. That tightened. This goes back on the top or the bottom as it is now and that is ready to roll. There's an on off switch here which we turn on in the back of the car is the remote control. Packed in one of these hard cases because it is a little bit fragile. So this is the size of the thing. We turn it on. It's connected. I can hear that. This is my shutter button here. You can hear it click. This is forward and backwards. This is left and right. So uh, where about now to stick it out here? and see if we can get these dogs to come up to it and very closely put their noses against the lens because it's a beautiful wide open space. The sky is uh, dark so it's not going to compete too much as a background. Here we go.